Hi, this is Tamim Zizada with Vanguard Instruments, and in this video, I'll walk you through how to upgrade the firmware on the Vanguard EZCT2000C current transformer tester. The EZCT2000C provides a USB flash drive port, which makes firmware upgrades a very simple process. First, let's find out what firmware version is installed in our EZCT2000C. When you turn on the device, the firmware version is displayed as part of the startup sequence. Here we can see that it has firmware version 1.16 installed. You can always download the latest firmware from the Vanguard Instruments website at www.vanguard-instruments.com. You do need to create an account in order to be able to download software and firmware. You can create an account by clicking on the Create New Account link on the left-hand side of the homepage. Once you've created your account and it's been approved, which usually takes about an hour, log into your account with your username and password. Next, hover your mouse over the downloads link and click on the software firmware downloads link. Now scroll down the page till you find the EZCT2000C and to the right will be the link for downloading the latest firmware. We can see that the current firmware version at the time of making this video is 1.18. Right click on the link and save the file. Now, navigate to the folder where the file was saved to. We'll need to extract the files from the compressed file using a program like WinZip or WinRAR. You'll see three files that were extracted from the zip file. We only need the ezct2c underscore m dot hex file. Now, insert a blank USB flash drive in an available USB port on your computer and copy the ezct2c underscore m dot hex file to the flash drive. Next, make sure to turn off the EZCT2000C and then insert the flash drive in the device's USB flash drive port. Now, while holding down the stop key, turn on the power on the EZCT2000C. The EZCT2000C will detect the flash drive with the firmware file and start the upgrade process automatically. You can release the stop key now. Once the upgrade process is complete, you'll be returned to the startup menu and continue to use the device as usual.